aquatic enthusiasts. Welcome back to Aquascape Salatiga. Today, we have an exciting topic for all you fish keeping enthusiasts out there. We're diving into the fascinating world of cherry barbs, those vibrant, colorful gems that can truly light up your aquarium. Now, before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our aquatic adventures. But first, let's kick things off with a quick poll. Have you ever kept cherry barbs in your aquarium? Make sure to comment below and let me know. All right, let's dive in. Cherry barbs, scientifically known as Puntius tatea, are a popular and beautiful species of freshwater fish originating from Sri Lanka. Uh, these little guys are well known for their striking colors, making them a fantastic addition to any community tank. Let's talk about their appearance first. The males are especially stunning, featuring vibrant red and orange hues that resemble, you guessed it, cherries. Females, on the other hand, are a bit more subdued in color but equally charming. These fish are peaceful by nature, making them great community tank inhabitants. However, they can become more vibrant and active when kept in small groups. Creating the right environment is crucial for the well-being of cherry barbs. They prefer densely planted tanks with plenty of hiding spots and open swimming areas. Aim for a temperature range of 73 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit, about 23-27 degrees Celsius, and a pH level between 6.0 and 7.5. All right, folks, it's time to crowdsource some wisdom. What do you think is the essential element in setting up the perfect cherry barb tank? Drop your suggestions in the comments and let's create a community checklist together. When it comes to their diet, cherry barbs are not picky eaters. They'll happily munch on high quality flakes, pellets, and liver frozen foods like briny shrimp or dapnea. Adding a variety to their diet will keep them healthy and show to see their colors even more. Interested in breeding these beauties? Cherry barbs are egg layers and setting up a separate breeding tank with fine leaved plants is a good idea. The females will lull the lay, lay their eggs and the males will fertilize them. Once the eggs hatch, you can feed the fry with infusoria or finely crushed flake food now, like any fish, cherry barbs can face certain challenges. Keep an eye out for signs of illness, and if you notice anything unusual, quarantine the affected fish promptly. Regular water changes, a balanced diet, and a stress-free environment will help keep your cherry barbs in top-notch condition. Get ready for a splash of fun, because today, we're delving deep into the fascinating world of cherry barbs. But wait, it's not just any exploration. We've got a trunk full of fun facts and trivia. If you're as excited as I am, hit that like button and join the trivia party. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic content. Let's dive in. Fun fact number one, mood ring mimics. Did you know that cherry barbs are like aquatic mood rings? Yes, it's true. The intensity of their colors can change based on their mood and environment. When they're feeling particularly happy or during breeding displays, their cherry red hues can become even more vibrant. It's like having a living swimming color palette in your tank. I didn't know what the color in your tank. Fun fact number two: social butterflies. Cherry barbs are not your typical wallflowers. They're social butterflies. In the wild, they're often found in groups, and they thrive when kept in a community setting in captivity. So if you have cherry barbs, consider giving them some friends. They love the company. Fun fact, number three, cherry barb, color code. Ever wondered why the males steal the show with their vibrant reds? Well, it's not just for looks. In the wild, that dazzling red serves as a signal to females during courtship. It's like their way of saying, hey there, I'm the most eligible cherry in the tank. Fun fact number four, rainbow of names. Cherry barbs might be famous for their cherry-like appearance, but did you know they also go by other charming names? Taksa, some enthusiasts affectionately call them strawberry fish or Reuben barb. It's like they have a whole rainbow of names. And there you have it, a brief but comprehensive guide to cherry barbs. 
These little fish add not only color, but also a sense of liveliness to your aquarium. If you have any questions, or if you'd like us to cover another fish species, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for joining us on this aquatic journey, and until next time, happy fish keeping! Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and as always, subscribe for more aquatic content. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, and see you soon. Fish fam, bye for now.